this problem illustrates calculation of moles of each component at equilibrium let us try this problem So we have been given following reaction. Kc value is given that is 49. Initially we have 0.5 mole of hydrogen and 0.5 mole of iodine. Volume of container is also given that is 7 liter. First part says what is the value of Kp? You may remember there is a relationship between Kp and Kc. Kp is equals to Kc into Rt to the power delta n. Where delta n is minus sum of mole of reactant. And this mole is basically for molar ratio. So we can also say delta n is sum of molar ratio of product minus so for this reaction mole of product is 2, mole of reactant is 1 plus 1, that is 0. So, Kp is equals to Kc. So, Kp and Kc are equal. Kc value is given 49. So, Kp is also 49. Let us discuss B part. What is the total pressure in the chamber? Total pressure. The reaction is so we have point five mole initially this is zero mole. Let us say after some time x mole of hydrogen is decomposed. So, x mole of iodine will also decompose because when 1 mole of hydrogen decomposes, 1 mole of iodine decomposes and 2 mole of Hi gets formed. So, moles of Hi formed is 2x. So, we will have total moles after some time T 0.5 minus x, 0.5 minus x 
and this is 2x. So we can calculate total number of moles at any time t. That is sum of all the moles. that is 1. So, total number of moles is constant for all time. Initially, we have 1 mole. At t time, we also have 1 mole. So, we can say remains constant for all time. So, pressure will remain constant because PV is equals to NRT. If volume is constant, temperature is constant, number of mole is constant. So, pressure will also remain constant for all time. And this pressure can be found using RDL gas equation. Volume is 7 liter. Number of mole is 1. Temperature is also given. Temperature is 427 degrees centigrade. So, total pressure at any time is 8.2 atmospheric pressure. Now, let us discuss C part. How many moles of iodine remains unreacted at equilibrium? So, we have to find moles of iodine unreacted. Initially, we have 0.5 mole. Let us say at equilibrium, we have 0 0.5 minus x, 0 0.5 minus x and here we have 2x mole. If I divide by volume, we can get the concentration. At equilibrium. Now, we can write equation for K C. That is 2 x by 7 K C is 49 7 goes So, we can write so we will have 2 x by 0 0.5 minus x is equals to 7. We are neglecting the negative root because the ratio of moles cannot be negative.
because this number is not possible to be negative. Maximum value of x is 0.5. So from here we can solve for x. So 3.5 divided by 9. So this is 0.388. So moles of iodine left that is 0.5 minus x. Point five minus so point one one two so this is the moles of iodine that is unreacted let us say d part what is the partial pressure of each component in the equilibrium mixture so we have to calculate partial pressure of each component now to calculate partial pressure we can calculate mole fraction of each component for example moles of iodine that is left is 0 0.112 mole similarly moles of hydrogen is also 0.5 minus x so we will have moles of hydrogen 0.112 mole moles of HI is 2x that is 2 times x is 0.388 so 0 0.776 0 0.776 mole So we can calculate mole fraction of each component mole of iodine divided by total mole so total mole is 0 0.112 plus So this is 1, total mole is 1, so mole fraction of iodine is 0 0.112. Similarly we can calculate mole fraction of hydrogen, total mole is 1, so this is again 0 0.112. Mole fraction of HI that is 0 0.776 divided by 1, that is 0 0.776. Now we will use partial pressure is equals to mole fraction into total pressure. For example, for iodine, we will have partial pressure due to iodine is equals to mole fraction of iodine into total pressure. Mole fraction is 0 0.112. total pressure we have already calculated that is 
so partial pressure due to iodine is equals to 0.112 multiplied 8.21 so this is 0 0.91 so this is 0 0.919 similarly we will have partial pressure due to hydrogen this is again same value because mole of hydrogen is mole fraction of hydrogen is again 0 0.112 pressure due to HI mole fraction of HI is 0 0.776 total pressure is at 0.21 so this is 6.37 so we have calculated partial pressure of hydrogen that is 0.919 partial pressure of iodine that is 0.919 and partial pressure of HI that is 6.37 atmospheric pressure. So this question illustrates how to calculate partial pressure of each component, mole fraction of each component, moles of each component and total pressure at equilibrium.